everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's grocery haul. So we have bought our weekly food shopping in Sainsbury's this week, so I'm going to go through and show you everything that we have bought and then at the very end of this video I'm also going to go through our meal plan too. So if you would like to see what meals that we're having this week then do make sure you keep watching. So I really hope that you enjoy it. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel if you like this kind of thing because I am posting food hauls every single Friday. So yes, do hit that subscribe button and let's go on and I'm going to show you everything that we have bought in Sainsbury's. I just want to quickly say Sainsbury's have been doing a price match with Aldi. So in store and on their app they have got like a certain section where they are price matching items to Aldi. So some really, really cheap things. So at the end of this food bit I'm just going to quickly show you some items that were really, really super cheap price match with Aldi. So yeah, do make sure you see that and let's get on with it. So the first thing that I want to show you is actually food. It's actually these little outfits for my son. So I don't know about you, but I love the Hungry Caterpillar. It's so, so cute. So we've just got this bodysuit here for six pounds. And then we've also got this little set, top and trouser. I think it is actually meant to be pajamas. And how much was that one? I can't remember. That was obviously a bit more expensive. That was nine pounds, which I don't think is too bad, but yeah, it's just really cute. So anyway, I just thought I would show you those. But basically, my husband went to collect the order and there were loads of substitutions and a few things we had to go in the shop. So that's why he found those. He couldn't resist. So then on to the rest of the shop. We've got some baby bites there. We just buy scenes for his own make. They're just for like cleaning Arthur up after his food. And we needed some black bin bags. We've got some tortilla wraps there. We always get wholemeal ones because that is obviously just slightly healthier than white ones. And that's for fajitas that we're hopefully gonna have this week. We have obviously already opened this bread. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's a nice crusty loaf. We've just had that for lunch. And then I needed some more cereal. So this, if you've been watching my channel, you'll know I always have like granola or muesli, something like that in the evening. So I just thought I would try this one, but I did, didn't realise at the time but it hasn't got any fruit in it and I do prefer ones with fruit but we've got fruit which I can add to it but yeah hopefully that'll be nice anyway and then we have got quite a lot of snacks this week so we have got these pea snacks again pea crisps which we did buy the last time we did our shop at Sainsbury's they're really really nice so we've picked up those again and we also picked up these again too I think these are actually by Walkers but yes yeah, called Market Deli Pitta, Pitta Chips and they're like crisps but they're just a bit different so we have got those obviously i guess they're made from pizza bread yes yeah, so they're not like crisps but you know what i mean they're like a savory crispy snack and we've got some marmite rice cakes too and then we've got some nerns just some plain crackers there some cashew nuts a packet of hobnobs my husband fancied getting a lemon drizzle loaf cake so we have bought that I did want to buy a fruit loaf, but they didn't have it in stock and they had substituted it with the serene one, but that's not really what I wanted. So I'm gonna hold out and hopefully get one another week. We've also got some more milk chocolate malted milk biscuits. They're really, really nice. And then I just wanted to show you some Easter things. We did get these as well. I guess it's not really classed as Easter, but they're a little bit special. Just some milk chocolate brioche rolls. We have had these before and yeah, they're really, really nice. So we just, Thought we'd treat ourselves. And we've got some more hot crust buns this week. That's like the ultimate treat. I love hot crust buns and I also love Easter biscuits. So we have got both of those. And I'm sure we get getting more before Easter anyway. And then we've got three cream eggs. And then my husband did actually find these. These are Swiss white chocolate mini eggs. I think last time we got milk chocolate ones. So we thought we would try white chocolate ones this week. So those are all the snacks. And then like onto a slightly more healthy section is all of our fruit and vegetables. So fruit wise, we've got some apples there. We've got some strawberries, which we always have in the morning. And same with blackberries. We just have those with our cereal. And then my son Arthur will have blackberries. He has actually done quite well with blackberries. I gave them to him this morning and he did actually have some, which I was quite pleased about. So we've got those. We've also got some grapes, which we tend to have more as a snack and also for my son too and then we have got a pack of pears and what we do we usually they usually take quite a while to soften soften but what we do we actually steam them and then uh, blend them up and freeze them so we've got like a pear puree and I just thought I'd add that into his my son's Weetabix or porridge in the morning if you've seen 
my recent video that I did about what he eats, you would have seen me do that. But yeah, that's why we've got pears there. And we've got lots of bananas. Again, we have bananas at breakfast time. And I also make banana pancakes for my son. So we always do go through a lot of bananas. And then vegetables, we have loads of potatoes. We've got a big bag there, another bag there, and two sweet potatoes. We have got some mushrooms this week. So I'm going to have a mushroom probably on my pizza and then I might have it, like if we have eggs for lunch or something, I might have a mushroom and I'll try and give my son a bit of mushroom too. We've got a pepper there, which is probably going to be for our fajitas. And I've got some tomatoes, which I have for lunch or just like on the side for things really. I just have tomatoes also on my pizza too. We've got some carrots. We've got some leeks this week, which don't always buy leeks, but we've got a couple there just to have to get all different vegetables in and some broccoli too. We also then have some red onions and a white onion because we are making soup again this week and that is what that onion is for. So that is all the fruit and veg. And then we haven't got loads of stuff for the cupboard actually, like this is it, just this tiny little section here. And we have a pot, a jar of strawberry jam. I love strawberry jam on toast at the moment, like in the evening, and it's bad, I probably eat I've got such a sweet tooth at the moment. I do try, need to try and cut it down. But anyway, we've got some jam. Uh, I've got some sweet corn there. So I'm going to make my son, he really enjoyed some like vegetable muffins that I made. So that's what that's for, to make some more. And I'm also going to make some broccoli fritters. So yeah, it's just extra stuff for him to have really. We've needed some more coriander. Again, if that's for our soup. Uh, vinegar we needed and some hot wheat pasta. And then we've just got two passatas there. because We've got loads more like chopped tomatoes and things in the cupboard already. So we didn't need any of those this week. And we've got 18 eggs there. Again, we just go through loads of eggs. We probably have, say we'll have them for lunch maybe once or twice a week. If we have them only once, then we'll probably have them for tea, if you see what I mean. So we kind of have them twice a week properly. And then my son might have the old bit or if I'm making stuff, yeah, we just go through a lot. So we have got 18 eggs, lots of milk as usual. I've got one rice milk, three coconut milks, a whole milk for my son and then a big one and a little one of semi-skimmed milk for my husband. We both have got yogurt this week so I'm actually preferring these to the other ones that I get sometimes, the cocoa ones which I do really like but I don't know I'm just enjoying these a bit more at the moment and I think they're probably better value for money so yeah they're like different flavours and my husband is trying what's he got there? Raspberry I think he probably had that before. We have a big pot of raspberry yogurt, we've got our flora there I've got some uh, vegan cheese there. I do usually buy Via Life just because it melts so, so well. They didn't have it in stock. So I have tried this one before from Sainsbury's and it is really nice. It's really nice in sandwiches, probably even better than Via Life in sandwiches, but I'm not sure how it melts, but I'm sure it'll be fine, like on my pizza. And we've also got some hummus. I say we, my husband doesn't like it, so that'd be just for me, lucky me. And then, a Freezer wise, we have some of these corn pies, which me and my husband really, really like. And hardly anywhere seems to sell them anymore. I think we used to buy them at Asda, they stopped selling them. I think Tesco don't sell them, so we've just always struggled to get them. But we have found out that Sainsbury's do still sell them. So yeah, we're definitely gonna have that this week, probably tomorrow actually. We've also got some more of Sainsbury's quinoa and sweet potato burgers. They were really good. And this is new Plant Pioneers Smoky Bacon Rashers. Obviously that's a vegan alternative. And yeah, as you can see, if you can see it kind of, it's obviously made to look like real bacon. So that'd be interesting. I'm intrigued to see how that tastes. Hopefully that's nice. We've only ever had corn bacon before. So yeah, looking forward to that. That'd probably be a lunch thing, I would imagine. I'm not sure actually, I haven't worked out yet, but I will definitely be using them. We've got some other burgers here, corn burgers. We've got Linda McCartney sausages there. My husband needed some more fish fingers just to kind of keep in the freezer as and when. And we've also got some more pizza dough this week. So you may have seen that in my meals of the week, how I make that up and yeah, that's really nice. So that's kind of the main shop. And I just wanted to show you this little section which I've put separately. So if you don't know, Sainsbury's are doing an Aldi price match. My husband said they actually have a big, like a section in the store as well 
as on their website and app. So it's where they just price match things from Aldi, which we thought was really good. Some of it is like super cheap. I think, I don't know, my husband told me the price and I can't remember now. But I think this was like 30p. I don't know. It's just really, really cheap. So anyway, we've just got four cans of baked beans and these are like fine ingredients. You know, often the cheaper beans have like rubbish in or like really high in salt, but these are actually fine. So we've got four cans of beans, some spaghetti there, which um, my son has as a massive, massive pack. So that will uh, last a while. So as you, as you saw, we've got some milk chocolate there. Again, the ingredients are fine. It hasn't got like palm fat or anything like that in. So for cheap chocolate, that's really good. We also needed some more tomato ketchup and then some frozen peas as well. So that is absolutely everything we bought. So with my son's clothes in, I think that was nearly a hundred pounds. So it's a really, really big shop there. But yes, that is it. Right, so I'm just going to go through our meal plan now. So I've just got it up on my phone as always. So the first meal that I'm going to talk to you about is our fajitas. So as you saw, I have bought some more wraps and we have that with corn chunks, chopped tomatoes, we have got a pepper this week. Sometimes we don't always have a pepper, but I do prefer it with that. So we'll just fry that with some onion as well. And yeah, it just tastes really, really nice. We usually have that with chips or wedges made in our air fryer. If you have seen my Meals of the Week video, you will know, I will link it below. But yeah, I show you kind of how I make our fajitas, but that is always a meal that I really, really look forward to. So we're also going to do burgers. So maybe with the corn burgers, I think, we don't have any rolls this week. Sometimes we like to have it in rolls as well, but otherwise like this week, we'll just have the burgers with some spicy rice and we'll also put peas in with that as well and fried onions again. And then we always have a pasta and pizza. So those are definitely on my meal plan. So as you saw, we've got the pizza dough to make and then we'll just put our own cheese on top and I'll have tomato and mushrooms as well. Um, probably make maybe like sweet potato wedges. I've been really enjoying the sweet potato ones recently. They're just, I don't know, they don't seem as dry as normal potatoes. They're just a bit nicer, I think, but I, we do like to have a mix of them anyway. So yeah, that's, that's pizza and we'll have that with beans. And then our pasta, we always just have probably soy mince and lentils and that's in chopped tomatoes. Just a tomato based pasta. We don't really do like a cheesy or creamy one I think to be honest with you just because we try and be a little bit healthier and obviously when you're adding like loads of cream and stuff to a pasta dish it's not that healthy but I don't know maybe we will try it one time but the tomato one is just the one that we know and like so we just tend to make that every week but we enjoy it it's probably one of my favorite meals anyway and then another uh, meal as you saw we have those corn pies so I'm really looking forward to that so that would be with potatoes and we've got the leeks this week, which is quite good. And then our usual broccoli, carrots and peas. We're also probably going to make a paella because we have got sausages. We'll either do that with sausages, maybe, I don't know, maybe we should do another gravy meal. I, can't, I don't know, see how we feel. But if we do a paella, that'll be with rice, with onions again and peas. So yeah, it kind of depends because you don't want to do, I don't want to have too many meals with onions and fried onions as well. So we'll just see what we feel like. And then the last meal of the week is going to be my husband will have his fish fingers and then I've got some vegetable fingers in the freezer and we'll just do that with some boiled potatoes perhaps and vegetables too. So those are all our meals of the week that we're going to have. I really hope that you enjoy listening to them and don't forget to check out my meals of the week video so you can see how I make some of those things and if you want any inspiration then go and have a little look at that one. But yes, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and then you'll get a little notification on your phone every time that I post a video. But yes, that's it for now and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.